good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Hey, thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, the one they call Brian Grace Gibbs, and this is my ministry. What I talk about, I talk about the good, I talk about the bad, I talk about the ugly. I talk about my life experience from who and once I was through the age of 14 or 24. And you know what? I was not a proud of that person. I hated that person. That person stole 15 years out of my life because I had issue, I had problem. But you know what, here it is. What I'm trying to tell people, it is never, ever too late. Listen to what I'm saying. It is never, ever too late. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. I hated who I once was. I loved who the man I have become. Um, today, what I'm gonna talk about is this, paperwork. They got, uh, I saw it on YouTube, and they've been talking about a lot, about Fat Joe. Okay, the rapper Fat Joe. Shout out to Fat Joe. Um, they talk about paperwork, and all of a sudden, some paperwork from, what, 2004, supposed to be circulating out of nowhere, and about him cooperating, him being a snitch. And you know what, right, right now, what I'm speaking about, because, you know what, let he or she, while sin, cast the first stone. And the difference is right now is, like, you know what, they saying that these paperwork magically start appearing right now. From 2004 to 2021, 17 years. So why now? That's the question I want to know. When people start coming out with paperwork or articles about people, about certain situations, the question you have to ask, why now? This man, regardless of who he once was in 2004, okay? You're talking about a 17 year span, 2021. Every time you look around, what is he doing? He got him a hot podcast. Um, he out there promoting different things. Positivity. But yet and still regardless of what, certain things from the past always have the tendency of trying to tap you on the shoulder. Trying to come back from the past. What regardless of what? Like, you know, what I'm looking at is, you know, it's like I experienced something similar to that. And the difference is I don't get caught up into what anybody have to say about my past. Because once again, yeah, do I have a past? I got a heck of a past. And you know what? I'm not proud of my past. But the difference is, you know what? I'm living in my truth. I'm not living in my past. I'm living for now. And that's what that joke, that's what anybody that's out there that people start speaking about their past, about paperwork, 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 boom, boom, boom. Paperwork, paperwork, boom, boom, boom. A lot of times people want to talk about paperwork. Is it real? Is it not? But the difference is, sit back and think about it. When people come out the woodwork with paperwork that they had for a thousand years, the question that you have to ask yourself, why now? Why now? Was it a fact that, and like I say, I don't know all the particular, but is it a fact that now they feeling, you know what? Here it is. I want to use this against them to extort them. I want to, let's dance, let's shout. Shake Fat Joe onto the ground, let's dance, let's shout. Shake them onto the ground, like trying to extort them, trying to shake money out of them. Trying to turn his big butt upside down like he's underdog and shake all the chain out of his pocket. Folks, come on, man. Life, we as people have to be better than that. Stop getting caught up in that nonsense. The difference is, like I said right now, I don't give what anybody said about me. Because sticks and stone may break my bones, but names, names, words would never help hurt me under any circumstance. Listen, anybody would know anything about me. Right now, was one thing about me? Yeah. Did I make a deal? Yes, I made a deal. Okay? The difference is right now, am I proud of that? Only thing I'm mad about making a deal was I'm mad about how I allow myself to become Brian Glace Gibbs to be responsible for X amount of murders, poison my community, destroying people's lives. You know what? No, I'm ashamed of that. Because once again, I'm not trying to blame nobody or nothing. The difference is right now is guess what? Yeah. At one point in time, you know what? Out of everything I've been through, I've been traumatized. I've been I got hit with trauma. With well, all the stuff I experienced. Right now, even being a little kid. Bang my head on the concrete. 
you know, a piece of glass went right through here, blood everywhere at five years old. And you know what, right now, every time I used to get upset, or every time I got hit upside my head, or every time I got a butt whipping, guess what? You know what? What did it do to me? It caused me to have breakdown. I used to totally black out. And when I black out and I got so upset, I didn't care. And when I didn't care, guess what? What's gonna happen? People, keep in mind, temper is what gets us into trouble. Temper is what gets us into trouble. Pride is what keeps us there. It's nothing to shame to say you got issues, that you need help upstairs from a mental standpoint. Mental illness is real. But once again, what we got to sit back and think about is listen, folks, life is life. Everybody had made some type of bad decision in life that they're not proud of. That's why they got erase in the back of your pencil so you can erase it when you make a mistake. That's why right now when you ask for forgiveness and you succeed in your approach and God forgive you, you learn to move on. So to me, when anybody come at Fat Joe, Freaky Deaky, whoever Brian Glaze gives about paperwork, listen, like I said right now is, guess what? At this present moment in my life, I'm gonna say one thing and one thing only. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. And do you know how many people in that penal system wish right now that they had another opportunity? Wish right now they had, you know what I'm saying, told or made a deal? Because you know what they realized? I did all that for what? I destroyed my life. I destroyed my community. I hurt so many people. I killed so many people. For what? Because so they can get a name, so they can get a reputation, so they can die in the penal. You know what? Come on, folks. It's not all about that. It's not what we do, it's how we do it. Listen, man, thank you for joining me. And what I'm trying to say right now, once again, when people start coming out the woodwork, ask your question why. And not only that, ask them to show their paperwork. Will they do that? No. They'll tell you everything that everybody else is doing, but they would never tell you what they're doing or who they really are. Like I say, you see with this right here? Get your signed copy, Beyond Lucky, the Brian Glaze Gibbs story, a true story of crack money and redemption. And you know what? I always like to tell people about this part right here because I want you to Google this and I want you to understand, you know what, like what's in this book or whatever. And here it is, Beyond Lucky, is a story of extraordinary violence, brutality, and redemption. Crack, money, murder. And Brian Blade Glaze Gibbs became synonymous to a local and federal law enforcement agency. Brian admitted he was guided by distorted logic and the peer pressure of the inner city and the desire to be fly, shaking money, making and styling. From the bloody street of New York to being singled out by then the Senator Joseph Biden who is now the President of the United States, and 1996 Senate Subcommittee investigating the effectiveness of Witness Protection Program. During that hearing, the U.S. government admitted it had given him a deal, believing he was responsible for 50 murders and allowed to keep $35 million from his trade as a drug law. Folks, like I say, that was in front of the Senate Subcommittee. There's a lot of stuff that was written about me. It's a lot of things that's in paperwork that I didn't know nothing about, but it doesn't matter. I'm not running from nothing. I'm not hiding from anything or whatever. I am whoever I say I am. So whatever people want to say, all they damn to say is this, sticks and stone may break my bones, but words never hurt me. So Joe or anybody out there, people coming up with the paperwork or whatever, you know what, listen man, as long as they talk about you, that means you're doing something right. When they stop talking about you, then that's what you need to worry about. Thank you for joining me. Have a good one. Is Panoxol right for me? Are you currently suffering from high blood pressure or high cholesterol? Then Panoxol is for you. Panoxol is an all-natural supplement that's been found to help reduce the need for blood pressure medications. If you don't currently have any blood pressure problems, Panoxol is even better for you. Panoxol is an over-the-counter natural food supplement with amino acids and herbs. These natural ingredients support cardiovascular health and may help prevent high blood pressure and high cholesterol, which can lead to heart attack, stroke, and kidney failure. Panoxol's patented formula was designed by an MD of internal medicine and is made in an FDA-certified facility 
and its ingredients has been used in holistic treatments for thousands of years. Try Penoxol today and feel better. It's that simple. Healthy heart, mind, and body with Penoxol. You can learn more about Penoxol online at www.penoxol.com or by calling toll-free 1-844-PENOXOL. That's 1-844-726-6965. Start feeling better today with Penoxol.